master of puppeteer. What is up, everybody? Something new to spice things up for variety for my year-end series for 2022. This is the Music Artist of Life Award, the Music Artist Awards of the Decade, whatever you want to call it. Um, I was originally going to call this the most influential artist band, and it came down to about five out of a hundred. I've been narrowing it down the past few weeks from the greats, um, all the way from Ozzy, Black Sabbath, Slayer, Korn, some of the greatest music- musicians that ever graced our life, like Fred Durst of Limp Biscuit, Marilyn Manson, Led Zeppelin, Iron Maiden, you gotta up the irons. The winner of the Music Artist of Life Awards on Mary and JOA is Metallica, without a doubt. One of my favorite bands, um, a band that got me through such tough times in my life, a band that I saw a ton of times live, got to hang out with Lars years ago. Um... You know, love to collect their vinyls, love to collect their CDs, merchandise. Um, The family, the Murray family on my dad's side, because on my mom's side, they're big um, Andrea Bocelli fans and Elvis Presley. But on my father's side, the Murrays are big Metallica fans. That's how I got into them from my father and my dad's younger brothers. And, And then, of course, you know, my nephew, my um, cousins, my dad's brother's kids and, and sister's kids and whatnot, they were all, I mean, you know, they were just influenced by Metallica. And, you know, it was a huge, huge impact um, on the Murrays growing up through the years. Always had the Black Album playing and Justice for All, Master of Puppets. So really... It's just, you know, the staple artist of the Murray family. That and Rod Stewart. And um, and John Denver. And, you know, one of the big four. One of the big four tr- uh, thrash bands. Right? Slayer, Anthrax, Make a Death. All great bands that could have made this, this uh, the, could have made the winner. I mean, let's face it. They're all fantastic bands. Motorhead. Merciful Fate, Cannibal Corpse, Between the Buried and Me, The Devil Wears Prada. But I would, I, I, I mean, of course, it would definitely instantly go to Ozzy. Let's think of, I mean, he's the godfather, right? The Black Sabbath. There's none higher. But on a personal level, I, it's got to go to Metallica. You know, they were always my number one. So a big shout out to the Metallica boys, you know, been listening to them since Christ. I mean, you got to figure I was born in 81. So right at the start of it. So I grew up even as a little kid crawling around. My, my, my father said when I was young, I was in the high chair and I would get hungry and I would want like my baby food and my Cheerios and I would go me hungry. Me hungry, kill them all, ride the lightning, creeping death. So even as a kid, I knew about Metallica. And all the kids, as they grew up, they got rattles and baby bottles and Teddy Ruxpin. And my buddy and me, I wanted a life-size Lars Ulrich doll and James Hetfield pillow. And Injustice for All vinyl, which I all have. And, you know, and Metallica underwear. Got a little brown through the years. <laughs> but it's just, you know, 
you really think about it and you think about, you know, how awesome the music is. And it's just, you know, it's just become, you know, a thing of life. Um, and I've always had Metallica always played in the background or when I'm jogging or on my iPhone or so there you go, Metallica. I could not pick another band or artist. Metallica, Music Artist of Life Award, right here on Mary and J08. Stay tuned for more specials. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>